Hello friends, uh, this is R. Rajkumar. Um, today I will teach you how to develop a publication in uh, Eclipse IDE. So I have Eclipse Indigo software. So this is, uh, you no need to install because I have that extraction version. Just to open that Eclipse Indigo folder. Here you can see that Eclipse icon. Just to double click on that Eclipse icon, it will open the Eclipse Indigo. So here, so you can open existing workspace location or you can create new workspace location. Suppose if you want to create your project in existing workspace location, then you have to select that existing workspace location from the list. If it is not shown in the list, you can browse that existing workspace location. So if you want to create project in existing workspace location, you can choose or you can browse. Sup suppose if you want to create your project in new workspace location, then you give the new name. Suppose in eDriver, I want to create CRSK software folder. So, so I want to create new workspace location. So queue that new workspace location path. So in E drive under E drive, uh, so I want to create a CRSK software folder. Under CRSK software folder, I want to store my all project, whatever project I'm going to create, I want to store that. So if you want to create project under existing workspace location you choose that existing workspace location or if you want to create your project in new workspace location so queue the new workspace location path so workspace location is nothing but where you want to save your project so click ok button so it will open eclipse indigo id so this is a new workspace i have given new workspace location crsk software so it will open under crsk software workspace location so close the welcome and here this is a eclipse indigo ide so now i will show how to develop the project in eclipse indigo just to so click on file menu there is a new menu item click on new menu item here you can see dynamic the project click on dynamic the project so here it will ask the project name suppose i will queue my project or my the project one my web project one so the project name i have given my web project one then after that here you can see the target runtime so the target runtime is nothing but this web project uh, so we have to run so for that we need a web server so which web server you are going to use to run this web project we have installed already tomcat 7 so first install JDK software after install JDK. So I have installed Tomcat web server. So already we have installed the no problem. So you can browse that where you have installed. So target runtime means that web server, which web server you are going to use to run this web project. So you have to select that in the list. It's not showing anything. So you have to create, you have to select the target runtime newly. So click on new runtime. Then which server uh, you are going to use? There are a lot of servers, Apache, basic ipm server jboss server oracle okay every lot of web server is there so the more popular web server is apache so i want to use apache which version you want 3 4 4.1 or 5.0 5.5 or 6.0 7.0 so i have installed apache tomcat 7 version so i want to use that uh, apache tomcat 7 web server to run this uh, project so select that click next button so here tomcat uh, installation directory is asking so where you have installed uh, Apache Tomcat web server that that location you have to browse so browse button click on browse button so where we have installed in C drive so click on my computer then here you can see C drive click on C drive under C drive program files click on program files folder then you can see here Apache software foundation here we have installed Tomcat 7 just to select that Tomcat 7 folder that's all right click OK so it has selected okay then the tomcat 7 installation directory we have selected then next you have to select the jre version so here it's showing jre 7 so you have to select the jre 7 if it is not show the jre then you have to browse that location so how to browse just to click on that installed jre then here already selected if it is not show here then click add button standard vm next to button then here you have to browse the jre location so here uh, click on directory same computer jre also install in c drive only select click on c drive then program files under program files java folder so under java folder you can see that uh, jre so jre 7 so just click ok 
So if you click OK, it will come here. So you have to finish. Click on next button, finish. But here already JRE 7 we have selected. JRE 7 it has selected automatically. So you no need to select again. If it is not show there, then you have to browse that where the JRE 7 has installed, where JRE version is, which JRE version you want to use, the path you have to select, that location you have to select. So here already is selected. Okay, so then no problem. So here in JRE, which JRE version you want to use, you have to select. It will show in the list. If it is not show in the list, then click on install JRE, then browse that JRE location, which JRE version you want to use, browse that, then it will show in the list after. Um, okay if it is the jre version if it is not show in the list then what you have to do you have to select that uh, jre location so which jre version you want to use you select that and it will automatically come in the list then you have to select so this uh, so apache tomcat 7 and uh, where the apache tomcat 7 server has installed that uh, directory you have to browse then which jre version you have to install that uh, you have to select here so finish so here see target runtime we have selected which server we have selected uh, apache tomcat 7 so the web server we have selected for this web project so that is important target runtime okay means you have to select the web server which web server you want to use to run this web project so when you select this web server where this web server you have installed the directory you have to select and the corresponding jre version you have to select so this all no need to change so click next button again click next button here select the generate web.xml deployment descriptor so web.xml is important to select that finish So web project has created successfully okay just to expand the web project see there's a lot of folder is there um, java resource folder uh, then build folder web content folder okay so this is a web application project has created successfully okay so where we have to place that web page the html page or jsp page you will create so where we have to create where we have to place under web content folder suppose java file i have java file or servlet file or java source file I have where we have to place the java file that we have to place under source folder so under source folder you create one package then place the java file under source folder so in the publication so we will use java file we will create java program uh, we can also create the servlet program the java program we will create in the publication so that java file you have to place under source folder under the JSP file, HTML page, JSP page, whatever the page you are creating, that we have to place under web content folder. Okay, suppose I want to place in this web application project, so I need to Java file or uh, whatever Java file you need, Java program. So I, uh, so you have to place under source folder. Just right click on the source, click new project. Sorry, just uh, right click on the source folder, then select a new, then select a package. So com dot dot suppose uh, okay Java. okay finish so the package has created so under the package you place whatever file you want to place you place suppose i want to place servlet click on servlet servlet is a java file java program just you can place under uh, the package so here suppose um, my servlet the next click next then it ask what are the method you want to define under uh, okay my servlet uh, class so i don't want to post to, to get i want service method so init method that's all right finish it will create automatically see the servlet class servlet java program servlet java class file has created so under package we have created if you want to create any java program java class right click on package new then the class suppose uh, hello class main method okay i want main method okay so main method is not required so whatever java file the java source file you have to place under the source folder so under source folder you create your own package under the package you place all the java file whatever you want to use in that web application whatever java file you want to use in that web application you have to place under this package you can create a number of package under source folder in each package you can place the corresponding java file so the java source file you have to place under source folder in the corresponding package okay then the jsp page or html page the 
web page you have to place under web content just to expand the web content see you can do that how to create what are the page you want to place just to right click on the web content so click new you can see here html file or js file which is suppose html file click on html file so which html file i want to hello hello dot just a hello dot html so next finish see the html file has created so if i run this html file i want to show this uh, only head to one okay hello this html hello html file so welcome to crsk java j2w training Just uh, the heading I want to display uh, two times in HTML page. That's all right. So we have created a control S save close. See under web content folder, I have created a hello dot HTML file. So just uh, how to create a HTML file or JSP file? Just to right click on web content, select new, and select if you want a JSP file, select JSP file. If you want a HTML file, select HTML file. Suppose I want the JSP file. Just right click on web content, click new. And JS file. So give the file name. Suppose I will give index dot JS. The next, then finish. See the index dot JS has created. If you want to open just a double click index dot JS. So here, in, when I run index dot JS page, I want to show just a header. Uh, this uh, index dot index JS file. So welcome to JS page. That's all right. So two times I want to display this heading. Just to copy and paste. Done. So now see under web content folder we have created two file. One is hello dot html page. Another one index dot jsp page. Two page we have created uh, html page, jsp page. So all the web page, whatever web pages you are creating, you have to place under web content. Then whatever Java file you are creating, you place under source folder. You don't need to place directly. Just to create one uh, package under package, you place. You can create n number of package under source folder. Uh, then the corresponding uh, Java file you place under the corresponding package. So all Java source file you place under source folder, and uh, all uh, pages web pages you place under web contender. Okay. So now I want to run this project. When I run this project, uh, which page you want to run first? So that we have to decide. Suppose if I run this project, I want to run index.jsp first. So when I run this project, I want to run index.jsp page first. So that we have to set in web.xml. Just to expand web inf folder. This is a web inf folder. Just to expand the web inf folder. Here you can see web.xml. Just to open web.xml. Here you design and source. You select the source. Here you can see welcome file list. In that welcome file list, you have to change. So when you run the project, uh, which file you want to run first? That order you have to give us. So first, suppose I, when I run the project, I want to run index dot jsp page first. So index i capital i given. So index dot jsp. So I given index dot jsp. When I run the project, you run index dot jsp page first. Suppose index dot jsp page is not available in the project, then it will go to it will give the next priority index dot html as index dot html. Suppose index.html page is not available, then it will give the next priority index.jsp page. If it is not available, then it will give the priority to default.html, default.html, default.jsp. So this uh, we know no need. So only one file I want to run. So suppose the index.jsp file is not available. So I want to run, I want to run that uh, hello.html. Okay, first, uh, first I given index.jsp, second I given hello.html. So now you change in web.xml that when you run the project, which page you want to run first. That's all right. Okay, next come to here. You just right click on the project, go to run us. Here run on server. Now the web application you have to run on the server. So when you create that web, web project, we have selected a target runtime, the Apache Tomcat 7 up server. So it will come automatically. Just click on run on server. It will, here it will ask first time uh, which server tomcat 7 just to select and the next uh, that's all right then click finish it will run you can see index.jsp page it will run first when you run the project see when you run the project we are not running that index.jsp we are not running that um, hello.html we are running directly project so when you run the project uh, 
so it's showing index dot jsp page is running first so that we have to change in web.xml so done suppose if you want to run any if you want to run any specific file directly suppose i want to run hello.html only directly i want directly i want to run just right click on hello.html then go to run as then run on server then next finish it will run hello.html file directly so directly we are running hello.html page directly we are running just right right click on the file and run on the server so it will come hello.html we are running directly but uh, that is not good we have to run project only so we should not run the specific file directly so that's why i given that web.xml suppose uh, in web.xml so when you run the project i want to run that hello.html file only first so then so i given that hello.html so when i run this project web project directly so i want to run the first page hello.html so that i have changed in web.xml just now right click on the project go to run as run on server click next now in in web.xml we have given welcome file list welcome file we have given as hello.html so it will run hello.html first when you run the project so restart server so continue click on ok it will run the web server so now web server it will run your project see so now web server is running your project but which page is running first hello.html because we have given web.xml in web.xml we have given hello.html file you run first when i run the project so that's so in the web project so all html page or jsp page all you place under web content folder okay then all java source file you have to place java file java program you have to place under source folder okay so this is a project in number of project you can create if you want to create new project just to file new under dynamic project suppose i want to give lab to the project lab to the web lab to then so already once if you selected a target runtime it will automatically come just to you need to select next time no need no need to browse next time because first when you create the first project that time only you have to select target runtime so next to project automatically it will come so you can uh, you directly choose that's all right then click next the next select here generate web product someone finish see second project has created in that project whatever page you have you place under web content folder and whatever source file java file you have place under source folder you create one package under source folder place all java source file under the package in the source folder so then in web.xml you change which file when you run the project which page you want to show first that you have to change in web.xml so this is a this is how to develop the project in eclipse ide so i think this video is uh, help uh, more help it will help you more to uh, how to develop a web project in uh, eclipse ide so thank you for uh, watching so i will upload a uh, uh, lot of videos uh, so if you need uh, any videos related to java or anything else just uh, po put the comment in the comment box it uh, it will come to know then i will uh, record that video i will i will okay upload that video so, so thank you for watching